Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create this neat little effect right here, and the best way I can classify it as is like a monster follow cam. So you'll see right here, if I just go ahead and play it through, that it's got that sort of neat monster look to it. And if you'll notice, a lot of sort of uh, big Hollywood films use this sort of technique where they stretch the edge of the image out, and then I just apply the sort of red effect to it and, you know, bumped up the contrast and stuff like that to make it look all monstery. So let's get started on this. I'm going to go ahead and go up to uh, File, New, and then Sequence, and we'll start from there. And we'll go ahead and create a new one like so. And we'll just drag in our footage. And you'll notice that beforehand that the footage was ba very, very normal. Like, you notice there's nothing like really substantially different or weird about this footage. All it was was really normal. And what this does is it kind of takes that normality and it shifts it around because you zoom so far into the center that all the little bumps look like sort of, you know, like the beast looking around. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to color this thing because when we apply the effect that stretches the edges, it's going to sort of... um really eat up our processor. It's going to do a lot of sort of uh, high computational values and it'll slow down the process. So we want to do the hue first, the hue shift first, and then we'll go into the actual sort of manipulation of the image. So the first thing I did was I actually went into color balance right here and I dragged the HLS version, uh, which is under color correction, which is under video effects. I dragged that on here and then now you can shift the color to really anything. You can see there's a lot of wild values in here and you know a lot of times red is what they go with because it's like blood hungry or whatever but you can go really any color that you want I'm gonna go back to that nice deep red right here and so now you can see all the the hues are shifted which makes everything look normal just sort of you know red really far off and I like that look to it and then I'm gonna go ahead and basically you can go Either way here, you can drop off the saturation or you can add a little bit to like really make it blood red. So I'm going to actually add a little bit of saturation to make everything here that red color. And it actually looks almost neat as an effect in and itself. Is this, this just normal hue shift into this color. I kind of like the way that it all came out like in this scene. And it kind of looks like a cool uh, foreign world here. But next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our effects and we're actually going to go into the distort effect right here. And what we want to use is this effect right here called the lens distortion, right like so. We're going to drop that on there. And basically what we want to do is we just want to increase the curvature, but not increase. We want to decrease it. We want to bring it outwards. So basically what we're doing is instead of bringing it and correcting it downward, we're actually going to distort it backwards, like it was zoomed in um, using some weird technology. And when we zoom in, in like this, what we're going to get is we're going to get that stretched edge look. And you see the center doesn't change that much, but the edges really change. So that's what we want. We, wanna, we don't want it to be too bad. We just want to stretch it just a little bit, like so. And now you'll see that we get this sort of jagged look to it. And it looks like we're looking in the monster's eyes without any stabilizer. And you can see that's kind of like like it would be like jutting around here and it looks very personal like it's very close up um, kind of because it represents our eye a little bit when we distort it like that if you think about our eye as a sphere our eyes do almost a little bit of that where the edges are blurred and out of focus uh, things move fast really you know close to the edges of your vision but when you get close to the front of the vision it becomes in focus and clear and that's kind of what we're doing when we represent it like so and so now we got this this look going. It's looking pretty good here. It's getting a little jagged. Um, and now it looks really monstery. And then just to finish it up, what I did was I went into Lumetri, which you can get to by going up to Color, then over to Lumetri. And I just dragged a, sort of like a contrast sort of boost. So the highlights blow out the highlights and really kill the darks here. Now this is a really stylistic choice, but it kind of makes the, the monster appear more like disoriented and a little bit um, less like a human and more like what maybe their color set is. And so now our end result is this right here. And you'll notice that it's actually pretty stark contrast if you go right here and let's go ahead and undo these three like so. So we took this image, which is just this nice sort of like leaning shot of this tranquil sort of lake. And with just three effects here, we redid the color, we boosted up the um, like sort of stark contrast in there, and then we just distorted it. And now it looks like a monster is creeping behind these, these tr leaves and is looking for something. 
and that is how you create a monster trail effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, really fun, really simple, and it can really add sort of a cool style to your shot. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.